scrappy people Tracy Reed here today coming at you with day two of December daily which is actually my story number one and it is all about us celebrating Yule this year and all of the gorgeous um, natural decor that I spent most of the end of November making so this is definitely a story from November but it's a Christmas story obviously so what I did was I printed out these cards are actually from a digital scrapbooking collection called Christmas Joy by Digital Scrapbooking Ingredients at Sweet Shop Designs and I will of course link everything in the blog post linked below and I go, went ahead and made my own basically patterned cards from this collection by using the papers included in a few of the different kits in the collection. And this one actually is a paper plus one of the digital mixed medias included in her mega bundle. So I have a three by four photo. They're actually not three by four. They are slightly smaller than three by four. I think I saved them at two and a half by three and a half so that I have lots of extra room around the outside edges for these patterns. And then I'm going to also uh, extend this pocket page so that I get four extra spots by using the Simple Stories adhesive like pocket flips. I don't remember what they're called. They're very old. I don't even know if they make them anymore. They're kind of not well designed, so I would be not be surprised if they don't make them anymore or if they revamped them. So I had to kind of make them work instead of, you know, just kind of intuitively making them work because uh, the pocket thing or the, f the adhesive part is on the top of that three by four, which is not gonna work um, for this page because there's nowhere to stick it. So I had to stick it upside down. So the, page the flap actually opens down instead of up. And then this four by six opens to the side, which is exactly right where the rings are. I could do it the other way, except again, there's nowhere for it to adhere. So it has to adhere to this part of the page, but that's okay. We made it work. And by the time the album is full, the binder rings won't really get in the way anyway because the page will sit up high in the binder rings. So I have gone ahead and stuck down all of my photos. Well, I haven't stuck them down yet, but I've paired all of my photos with the background that they're going with. And I'm just trimming this to work around the seam of the pocket protector so that I can stick it in the four by six pocket so that it doesn't interfere with the lower flap. So it's actually going inside the pocket and I just snipped off the corners so that it could wrap around the pocket. So whew, I made it work. Um, it's a little bit, feels a little MacGyvered, but <laughs> we got there. So I have this journaling card, or it's actually a designer card, plus all these photos, plus this is where I put my journaling too. That photo is actually one of the papers in that collection that I was talking about. And I just printed it with my journaling already on it. So I'm going to actually pair these cards with some of the clusters and embellishments from the Citrus Twist Oh What Fun collection because I thought that the vintage vibe would work really well with the vibe of my photos. So I'm pulling out and going through all of the embellishments and all of the clusters and all of that as well. I'm pulling out some labels because I'm gonna add a little bit of handwritten notes on some of these photos. And now I'm going to start just kind of sticking things down. I really wanted to use this wreath on this photo since there was so much empty space, but it was just too big. I pulled off this word art, I guess, that I made in the cluster beforehand or in my one of my de December daily no stress videos. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> uh, but I just couldn't make it work here. So we're gonna do some snowflakes instead and that will take up a good portion of the space if I sit them up right or up high enough, I should say. So I'm gonna start sticking those down and trying to fill up as much of that space as possible. Obviously I don't wanna cover up too much of the garland itself, but the bottom part of that garland isn't really that as pretty as the top. So it's okay if it cuts over the bottom of the garland. Perfect. And I feel like I need one more thing, so I'm gonna add in this sparkle and shine. So this is like that viral garland hack with the shower curtain rod in my entryway. <laughs> uh, it fell down literally this morning. It's been up since, this was like 
November 20th, maybe, maybe, maybe the 21st or 22nd. It was right before Thanksgiving. Um, and it's been up that whole time. And of course it fell last night, which I think is funny since I am scrapbooking it today, but I'll put it back up. Decided to just go with the whole snowflake motif because of this cluster from the DIY your scraps I did on day four, um, had a, had a snowflake in it plus all of those cute ornaments. And so since I'm decorating the tree, I thought it worked out well. So I decided to just carry this snowflake motif, motif throughout. I didn't want to add too much to this page, although I, I really do end up adding a ton to this four by six because of all that mixed media. I wanted to make sure that it was visible, but whatever. You can still see it. <laughs> and okay, so now that this one is done, I'm going to stick those in the pocket. Oh, I'm gonna add in some twine first because I thought I needed a matching bow. And it's funny because I was initially going to put the one on the right on the outside of the pocket and the one on the left on the inside of the pocket, but I decided that I liked the one on the left better. So it ends up going on the outside of the pocket, which makes me rearrange some of the other pockets as well. So you'll see that in just a second. Let's put it away. Got to be real careful with that glue. You can see me going, oh, I think I like this better. <laughs> no, this isn't as pretty as this. So we're going to put this on the outside. And of course, got to be real careful because the bows are still wet and that's kind of hard to get into. All right, I like that. So now, because I have that light yellowish, creamy card on the outside, that let this season fill or let the season fill your heart with joy card kind of was too monotonous. So it's actually going to go on the inside of the pocket rather than the outside now. Carrying the snowflake motif. Why do I keep saying motif? <laughs> motif through this card as well. I really like the combination of the sort of doily snowflakes with those nice black snowflakes. Obviously there's a lot of black or dark colors in my photos, so I liked the way that that played off of my photos. I'm gonna add a little heart here too. That's Finn's hand cutting out cinnamon ornaments. I basically made all of these myself except for the cinnamon ornaments, my two littlest, I guess I shouldn't say they're little anymore, but my two youngest kids helped me cut those out. So I wanted to make sure I included that little hand. The other photos with their faces didn't come out great. My kitchen is kind of all corners, so you can't get some great photos in the kitchen, at least not from the angle I was at. So we just went with the hands. And then of course I found this orange and um, cranberry and cinnamon stick little die cut in the citrus twist stuff, which was perfect. So it's just gonna go in the corner of these oranges, the pre-dried oranges. It took me two days to dry all of these oranges. I ordered three pounds of oranges to do this from the store and ended up with seven because they were out of the three pound bags, but seven was perfect. I had enough to do the tree and the garland with these beautiful dried oranges. So now I've got that done. One more card needs to be done. That Yuletide Vibes that's on my big photo was actually a caption I added in Instagram and I decided I really liked it printed on that photo. So I, I printed out the Instagram version of my photo instead of just the plain one. I really like the way that it adds just a little title that's like really nice and um, clean, I guess. So it's really pretty. I decided to add some let's get cozy to this one. I was out of those black snowflakes, but I really wanted to use this beautiful little floral too. So it worked out well because I got to use it on this card and it mimics the red of the mushroom really well. And I think once I get this down, oh, I am going to add one more thing. I know I am. Haha. -ha. What is it going to be? Oh, the heart. Duh, it's a heart. <laughs> More red. Perfect. I'm just going to stick it underneath this cozy word art. Trim everything off. Now all of my pockets are done. And I need to add in my number still. So I hemmed and hawed over what I wanted to do with my number for a little while. But then I remembered that I still had this wreath over here and it would be perfect in the center of that photo. You can see I was thinking about using some of this black and white trim, but I couldn't make it work well. But look at how beautiful that wreath is in the middle of the photo. And so I'm going to use that. I even thought about incorporating the black and white trim on either side of that wreath, but I decided it was too much. 
I wanted to keep the integrity of that beautiful photo as intact as possible. So I just stuck my wreath in the middle and then I'm using some rose gold um, numbers from Stitcher's Twist for my numbers. And this is all done. I'm gonna put it in my album so that you can see how it looks, how it opens up after I get all these numbers centered. Goodness. All right, now I'm gonna put it in my album. And you can see it opens up real nice. It's very pretty and fun. I like the interactivity of it. That is it for day one. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. There is a link to the blog post for this page in the description box below if you want links to all the products. All right, thank you.